today I'm gonna to run through the recent updates to the Tax Training mobile app. The mobile app on iOS or tablets and also Android devices. On the desktop, I'm always running Zwift, so we'll leave that one alone and we'll just cover the mobile app today. There's a number of reasons why you might wanna run your trainer control via something else other than Zwift and using Zwift to clock up the Ks. There's a few different modes available with these different apps, so slope mode in workout rather than just erg mode, also heart rate based mode, plus the availability of a ton of different workouts. There's a whole world of workouts that people create, and also there's some GPS and GPX follow workouts. So if you wanna rewrite a route that you've done outside or create one anywhere in the world and rewrite that, it is possible with these apps while you're still clocking up your Zwift case. Okay, let's jump over and have a look at these new features. Kicking this off, we'll start over at cloud.tax.com. Tax's cloud-based service, which links all of these together and keeps everything in sync across Android, iOS, and your PC. So what we're presented with here is a standard dashboard once we've logged in, very familiar. You've got workout history, you've got workouts, activities, create workouts, a few community things to share with friends, training plans, download, we'll run through all of these right now. So first up, your dashboard itself, manage profile, standard, your name, your location, um, a few metrics, heart rate, your maximum heart rate. But you've also got here a test my FTP. So on these devices here, there's an FTP test. We can see it loading here. Now this is a workout on slope mode, not in erg mode. It'll set the trainer here. There's a standard little warm up here of oh, about 10 to 15 to 20 minutes or so. And then it appears to be a standard 20 minute protocol with the trainer set at a slope of 5%. So it gives you enough resistance to kick back on for that all out 20 minute test. So Tax have added that as a basis for where all your workouts are gonna be based on. Once you've established a pretty good estimate of your FTP, you can jump over to workouts, have a look at the workouts you've created and what's just popped up here is one we've created a few months back, the Machu Picchu Ride to the Llamas simulation we did on the Tax Flux. But if we drop this down into public workouts, we have quite a few to choose from from recovery rides to uh, over and unders, time trial rides. It's a bit of a wish wash of random workouts, but if you're looking at something different, you can select any of these and get it about riding. While this is all in the tax cloud and we're using the tax training mobile app, this is compatible with other trainers as well. So you're not limited to just tax devices. If what you're seeing in that workout list doesn't match what you're up to and what training you wanna do, you can jump over and create a workout either via the web itself or via the tablet version of the tax training app. So we'll run through a quick slope workout creation. Uh, now slope mode is different to erg mode. It'll just represent a percentage of gradient. So for example, well, let's run through it now. So if we wanna do a distance based hill climb workout. So for example, outside we do hill repeats. We'll replicate that inside. So the creator here, we'll do a two kilometer. We'll start off at 0%. You just copy and paste that. And then we'll do two kilometers at 5%. Paste another one. Two kilometers at, can we go negative? We can go negative. So we'll simulate the downhill there from the hill we've just climbed. Another two kilometers or so at 5%. Paste again and we'll do the descent. So we'll create that. The total distance of or just under 10 k's. Let's just stretch that one out to get that perfect. Okay, so we've created a 10 kilometer hill repeat workout. We'll hit save on that. So 2 km, 5% times two reps. That makes sense. We'll hit save on that. That'll be then uploaded to the cloud. With that now created in the cloud, we'll have a quick look at that. All looks pretty good, 10 kilometers, maximum slope 5%, all looks good. And then when I load up the tax training app, it's there ready to select and ready to ride. Next up in the create a workout, we'll create a workout from an outdoor ride. I've done this before on Wahoo and Garmin head units. I think this may be even easier. So we jump over to create workout, import GPX, continue. Okay, we need a GPX file. So I'm gonna grab one from the Tour of Fiji 2014 time trial that we did back in October 2014. So here's my Strava ride of that. Has a bit of a bump and then relatively flat and a bit of a bump at the end. I wanna simulate that indoors. So we export the GPX from Strava. Okay, with that now done, straight over here, we drop the GPX back into here. 
Okay, there's a few options there of the smoothing. If you've seen my other video, some smoothing can be very nasty or too much smoothing. We'll go with the defaults, normal recommended for GPX, GPS bicycle computers. I'll hit start upload. And we have that now being uploaded to the cloud. Okay, there we have it, Tour of Fiji Stage 2 has now been loaded as a workout for me to select. We can get, have a look at the overview of that. It looks very similar to what we saw in Strava. Let's show the graph of that. And there's the profile. Now this will replicate that ride indoors on the trainer with the gradients from the outside ride. Pretty cool and very, very easy to do. And as it's now in the cloud, it just syncs to these straight away. So there's no extra uploading, no uploading with head units and starting and stopping. You just go to the workout, select it, and away you go. Now, the coolest part about this is the mapping that actually shows when you ride. So let's jump over to the iPad. Now when I load up the tax training app on the iPad here, I can go to workouts and the Tour of Fiji workout or simulation is there ready to select. You can see the graph and the GPS map. Oh, there's a bit of a water crossing involved there. The quality of this is dependent on the quality of your GPS data. That's really cut some corners there on the app, I'm not sure what's going on there, but the coolest thing that I love, we have a simulator happening here for the power, so I can show you what goes on here. When you re-ride the course, now with the Google Maps overlay, we can see pretty much exactly where we were on the course at the time as it simulates those gradients. So if you're doing something like a very long Ironman, you want to familiarize yourself with some of the environments, this might just be a way to get that done at home. And finally, Tax have added a number of training plans to choose from. So if you're a competition level cyclist, just looking to improve or just looking to make that time tick over a little bit quicker when you're working out indoors, it's a premium based service, so you will need a premium subscription to access these. But you've got groundwork, brickwork and roofing. You can see they're sort of building the house for performance there. Let's look at brickwork. And from here, we can select the type of rider we want to be, or are, endurance rider, time trial, or racing. Let's go racing. From here, you select your FTP or your uh, fitness range, low intensity, mid intensity, high intensity. Well, it's already recommended for me high intensity. That's good. Then we select how many hours per week we have to train. So between five and seven to eight hours. Here we go. So let's select high and number two. And from there, it gives me a calendar or a schedule Gives me an overall summary of 452 TSS a week, and here are all the plans already predefined for me to get stuck into. So there we are, an overview of the tax training app and the recent additions to the Android and iOS versions. That's a handy little tool to have in the back pocket for those rainy days where you might wanna try something a little different, different workout modes, custom workout modes, or load that ride from outside that you wanna replicate indoors. Alrighty, thanks for watching, wish to see you soon.